What's up everyone? My name is Dora and you're watching Creative Bath Lab. Well, hello there everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a mermaid milkshake bath soak. So I recently tried one of Nectar's famous milkshake bath soaks, and to be completely honest, I wasn't impressed. So I'm going to show you how to make an awesome one at a fraction of the cost. If you can believe it, they charge $35 for this. As always, check out the description for important information, recipe, updates, the supply list, and more. Please note, this is a very loose recipe, so you don't have to follow it exactly or even close to get great results. Use this video for ideas, inspiration, and as a reference to formulate your own recipe with ingredients that you already have on hand. The baking soda and citric acid help the pouring consistency and add a bit of effervescence. The SLSA adds a bit of foam and lather. The sodium alginate softens the water and it's perfect for this theme as it's made from sea kelp. The rest of the ingredients are beneficial to skin. You can definitely use a different salt. I use dendritic salt uh, because it's fine and powder-like. I also added a bit of color powder. For that tutorial, click the icon. For the wet ingredients, I mainly added fragrance oil. You can also add a bit of liquid colorant. For that tutorial, click the icon. Go ahead and add the wet ingredients to the dry and mix it well. Now thoroughly mix, knead, and rub the mixture with your hands to ensure that ingredients are thoroughly incorporated. Lay the mixture flat to dry for 24 hours. Once the mixture is dry, it should pour freely. Repeat the process for more colors. Next, I added a few decorative items like colorful eco-friendly glitter and sprinkles. For the colorful glitter tutorial, click the information icon. I'm using 16 ounce cups with dome lids. They'll be linked in the description. Fill the cup with mix. Pack the layers well. Fill the cup all the way to the top and pack it once more. Adorn the tops with colorful sprinkles and sparkling salt. Mm -hmm. 
For the sparkling salt tutorial, click the information icon. Place a shrink wrap bag on the top and heat it. Cut the excess off. I wasn't sure what to add to the dome lids, but sea kelp is different, it's unique, and it also ties in with the sea theme. I added bath beads to the purple mix because they kind of look like pearls. And again, that adds in with the, the theme, but don't do this. After a couple days, the mixture around the beads turns dark. You can still use the soak, but it's just not appealing to look at. The sea kelp can be added directly to your bath water. After a while, it gets really soft and slimy. I actually found it really fun to play with, but full disclosure, when you hold it up really close and take a sniff, it has a very pungent, fishy smell. It doesn't make the bath water stink or anything like that. It's just foul <laughs> when you smell it up close. The bath water only needs about a fourth of a cup maybe half the cup at the most. Uh, the soak provides a gorgeous color, an amazing smell, and it also softens skin. It was really nice and relaxing.